Thank you so much, Doctor, for coming here and testifying. We appreciate your energy, your time, and it seems like your vast experience, and we may be asking you again if we need to in the future. Please supply all the information to your con our contact with any kind of data that would be supportive, whether it be peer-to-peer -peer articles uh, and a narrative, like a small written narrative about some of the main points that you're getting so we can get it out to the community with an outline, if that's possible. Absolutely. I'm happy to do so. Thank you for having me. Thank you, too. Thank you so much. Thank you to Dr. Uh, for Dr. Lindsay for coming. Our next uh, uh, doc uh, doctor to testify is Dr. Urso. Uh, Dr. Richard Urso is an MD. He's one of America's most prominent frontline doctors. He's a medical doctor and a scientist with a specialty in ocular oncology, which is eye cancer. As part of the cancer treatments he worked on developing, uh, he did extensive research on the possibility of using mRNA technology for brain cancer treatment. He also had a strong background in drug development and treatment of inflammation and invented an FDA-approved wound healing drug. Since March of 2020, Dr. Urso has advocated for early treatment of corona and has successfully treated over 700 patients for the virus at home. He appeared in over 60 media outlets and has met with leaders of the COVID task force, leaders of the Congress, the Senate, and the CDC. Dr. Urso has played a prominent role in COVID awareness in Texas, meeting members of the governor's office and testifying before the, the Texas Senate. Welcome, Dr. Richard Urso. We look forward to hearing your testimony. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I, uh, because of the time, I had to, uh, I'm actually uh, a little bit thrown off by the schedule, so I do apologize for, for my location. Uh, I heard a lot of great testimony today. Uh, I want to thank you for inviting me to come in and, and speak. Uh, I think it's really important. Uh, we certainly know that something is very, very wrong with what's going on with the pandemic. Uh, I was quite aware of this from the very beginning because um, if you just heard, but, but basically my background, I did 11 years in the lab, uh, nine years working on mainly inflammation and scarring and wound healing. Um, and for those who don't know, 